Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1980 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Boston Red Sox at Fenway Park. On the mound for Detroit is Milt Wilcox, whose record is 7-2 with a 3.57 ERA. And on the mound for Boston today is Danny Parks, whose record is 7-9 with a 3.98 ERA. And so we are on an eight-game winning streak. We have not lost yet since uh, the All-Star break. And uh, we are, we've blown out some opponents. We've kept some games close uh, with our starting pitchers. Uh, we've really been unstoppable. And so we head into the second of the three-game series um, against Boston today. We're back in second place. We've, we jumped past Baltimore with this winning streak. And so we're sitting in second place. It's still a little too early to uh, watch the standings every day, but um, I'm, I like the fact that we're on a, a winning streak and we're catching up with the Yankees. And so our bullpen is completely available today. Uh, in yesterday's game, uh, Rick Russell gave us uh, almost six good innings to get his eighth win. He's four and four overall with the Detroit. Um, and on the mound today is, as I mentioned earlier, is uh, Milt Wilcox. We'll go over his numbers shortly. And our lineup is back to our uh, lineup versus righties. The only difference is I'm giving Omar Marino a day off after his torrid start um, with us at, uh, with the trade at the trade uh, at the uh, All Star break. Um, he's gone cold, and so I'm going to put Bob Baylor in there uh, in center field today. So that's going to make us a little bit weaker defensively, but um, maybe give us a little more offensive pop. And so I'm going to go ahead and do the lineup rundown. Over here, you'll see the 1980 Topps baseball card representing that player. Leading off and playing second base for Detroit is Lou Whitaker. There we go. And there's his uh, current up-to-date stats. Batting second and playing shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting third and at third base is Richie Hebner. Batting cleanup and in left field, Steve Kemp. Batting fifth and catching today is Lance Parrish. Batting sixth and in right field is Gary Hancock. Batting seventh and DHing. Carlton Fisk. Batting eighth and playing first base is Jason Thompson. And batting ninth and in center field is Bob Baylor. And here's Danny Parks. Uh, he is a rookie this season and we have already faced him four times. Uh, he's one in three against Detroit. Uh, he won the very first game uh, he ever started uh, his his uh, major league debut was against Detroit, and uh, you may be wondering who is Danny Parks. If you have not seen any of the other games he pitched, I mentioned that he was a career minor league pitcher for Boston, who just really never got a shot. In 1979, these are his real minor league totals, and in 1979 uh, he got injured through those 16 starts, and um, that really took him off his uh, uh, trajectory because um, in 1980 he pitched better but not great and then by 1982 he was out of baseball so he never really got a chance to um, start in the majors uh, or even you know get an opportunity so at any rate um, we have Lou Whitaker leading off against Danny Parks and Lou's going to ground it through the left side past the third baseman for a base hit. So that means we're going to hit and run. You'll see Trammell is 7 for 14 with a home run and three walks against Danny Parks. And so we hit and run and it's a strike him out, throw him out as Whitaker is uh, tagged out at second base. So a double play and that's going to leave it up to Richie Hebner to get a rally going. And Hebner pops it up it's going to be on the infield, and the third baseman Boggs has it, and that is the third out. 
So here we are, bottom of the first. Let's go ahead and go down the Red Sox lineup. Leading off and playing second base is Joe Morgan. Batting second and at third base is Wade Boggs. Batting third and in left field is Jim Rice. Doing the catching duties today and batting cleanup is Gary Allenson. Batting fifth and DHing is Carl Yastrzemski. Batting sixth and at first base is Jim Dwyer. Batting seventh and in right field is Mike Kingry. And batting eighth and in center is Tom Paquette. And batting ninth and playing shortstop is Rick Burleson. And here's Milt Wilcox. And uh, his record is 7-2. This is his fourth start since coming back from missing a month uh, due to injury. And he has not lost uh, since he's come back. So he's got a 7-2 record, a 3.57 ERA, uh, and opponent's batting average of 261. So he's been solid for us, um, and we, we really missed him during that month that he was injured. So here's Joe Morgan. He had yesterday off with uh, Jack Brohammer playing second base. He went three for four in his season debut. And Joe Morgan gets a base hit to left field and Kemp boots it in the outfield. And Morgan is safe at second base. So an inauspicious start to the game for Wilcox as Boggs grounds it to first. And JT has it for the first out. So one down, here's uh, Hall of Famer Jim Rice. In fact, the first three batters are all Hall of Famers. Rice hits it right back to Wilcox, and Wilcox throws it away. So two errors in the first three batters. A run scores, Rice is safe at first. And now it's the cleanup hitter, Gary Allenson. He's catching today in place of Dave Rader. And Allenson gets a base hit down the right field line. Rice coasts into third, and there's still only one down. These two errors have been costly as um, the rally continues with Carl Yastrzemski. And Yaz hits a high fly ball to right field. It's caught by Hancock, and the run scores from third. So 2 nothing Boston early on. Here's Jim Dwyer. He batted leadoff yesterday, and he's down in the sixth hole. And he goes down swinging. So we get out of that inning. The defense is poor in the first. And so here's Steve Kemp. He's leading off the second inning. And he hits a line drive to right field. And it's caught by the right fielder, Mike Kingry. So one down. Here's Lance Parrish. Parrish gets a base hit just past the Burleson at short. So runner at first. And here's Gary Hancock. Man, I want to hit and run again, but um, I guess I guess we're going to let him swing away. Hancock is betting 301 overall, 2 for 11 against Parks. And he grounds it to Boggs. That should be a double play, and it is. So we head to the bottom of the second. And scores 2 0. Mike Kingry leads off the inning. And Kingry strikes out swinging. That's, that's uh, two Ks for Wilcox as uh, Tom Poquette comes to the plate. He lines it directly to Whitaker for the second out. So two down, and here is Rick Burleson, who's 0 for 3 against Wilcox this year. And Burleson pops it up weakly on the infield, and Thompson has it for the third out. I didn't want to call that one too early because we had two errors yesterday uh, that <laughs> I thought were outs. I called them outs. Speaking of outs, Carlton Fist just hits one out of the park over the right field fence for a home run. That is his 11th home around the year. And uh, we cut the lead in half, 2-1. to one. Here's JT, nobody out. And Thompson grounds it to first. There's one down. And here's Bob Baylor, as I mentioned. He's starting today for Omar Moreno. And he flies out to right. That's two down. 
And we're back to the top of the lineup with Lou Whitaker. Whitaker is going to walk. And uh, instead of hitting and running, I'm going to let Trammell just swing away. And whoa, he drills it to deep center field. It gets down against the wall. Whitaker scores from first. Trammell has himself a double and an RBI. Score is 2-2. Two two. Trammell's in scoring position for Richie Hebner. And there's a wild pitch by Parks. Trammell advances to third. So two down, 1-0 count for Hebner. Hebner's four for six against Parks so far this season. And he hits a high fly ball right into the coffin corner. And it's caught by the center fielder, Paquette, for the third out. So we head to the bottom of the third. And the Tigers evened it up against uh, Parks. Joe Morgan leading off the top of the third. And he gets his second base hit to left field. And he stretches it to a double. So Kemp cannot defend against Morgan. He had the error in the first inning. And he allows Morgan to get to second uh, on what should have been a base hit. So runner at second for Wade Boggs. And Morgan steals third. So we've got to pull the infield in to protect that run. So 2-2 count to Boggs, and he goes down swinging. Okay, so now we're going to bring the corners in, so anybody, any ball hit to first or third will go home. Otherwise, we'll have to just give up that run. As Rice grounds it right to first, and Morgan scores anyway. So two down, and the Red Sox retake the lead. It's three to two. Here's Gary Allenson, and Wilcox walks Allenson. Wilcox is at 65 pitches already. We're not even out of the third. So two down for Yaz, and Yaz hits it on a line to right field, and Hancock has it for the third out. So to the top of the fourth, Steve Kemp leading off the inning, and he takes the ball four. So... Uh, runner at first, here is Lance Parrish. He had a base hit in the first inning, second inning, I should say. And he strikes out swinging. So that's one down. So we're going to try the hit and run again, this time with Kemp and uh, Gary Hancock. Hancock's going to get a base hit down the right field line. It's going to get all the way to the wall. Kemp does score from first. He was going on the pitch, and uh, Hancock has himself a double and an RBI. And the score is tied once again, this time at three. So one down. Oh my gosh, Carlton Fisk has two home runs. He just drilled it deep to right field. A two-run bomb. It's five to three, home run number 12. And uh, Carlton Fisk has got himself a, a day going. So one down, JT comes to the plate. He flies out to right center field. That's two outs for Bob Baylor. And Baylor's going to hit a lazy fly ball in the center. And it's an easy catch for Paquette. And we head to the bottom of the fourth. Tigers up 5-3. to three, Mostly because of the two uh, home runs by Fisk. And Wilcox uh, walks Dwyer to lead off the bottom of the fourth. So we just get that lead back, and he walks the leadoff guy. It's not the way to do it as Kinger gets a base hit into right field. And there's another extra base hit this game. And Kingry is at second, Dwyer's at third. And those are the tying runs. So Tom Paquette is up. Uh, he's got a low power rating. I'm going to bring the outfield in so nothing drops in. And it's a ground ball to first. And the run does score from third, so that's one out. And now we need to pull the infield in. We do, do not want that run from third to score. And Burleson grounds it right to third. Kingery is out at home. And we maintain the lead by throwing out Burleson. I'm sorry, not throwing out Burleson, throwing out uh, Paquette. And so two down. Here's Joe Morgan, who is two for two today against Wilcox. And he lines it to right field, and Hancock has it for the third out. So we hold the lead. It's 5-4, to four, top of the fifth. Here's Sweet Lou leading off again. 
And he goes down and gets a hold of one, but he rips it right at the first baseman. And Dwyer has it for the first out. So one down. Allen trammels up. He's six for eight for 16 against Parks. So he's got Parks' number. Unfortunately, he pops out here to second for the second out. So two down for Richie Hebner. And Hebner pops it up on the infield as well. It's caught by Dwyer, and that is the third out. So Wilcox is sitting at 85 pitches with Wade Boggs leading off the inning. And he gets a base hit to right. So it's only the fifth hit. It seems like a lot more than that with the walks and the errors. So runner at first. We need a double play here. We'll take a strikeout as Rice strikes out swinging. So one down. Here's Gary Allenson, who has not been put out today. There we go. He pops it up on the infield just past Wilcox. And Whitaker has it. And that's two down. So here's Hall of Famer Carl Yastrzemski with two outs. About Boggs is at first. And Yastrzemski bloops it right over Whitaker at second. And it falls in for a base hit. Boggs hustles to third. And it's first and third now for Jim Dwyer. Two down. This row of lefties here has been giving Wilcox trouble. But Dwyer's going to pop it up on the infield. And there's the third out. So we get Wilcox through five somehow, and uh, we do have the leads, five to four, top of the six. We're going to switch the stats over to the in-game stats, and there's Fisk, two for two, with two home runs, and uh, if he gets a chance to get up uh, this inning, it's going to have to be with somebody getting on base. As Kemp strikes out, that's three Ks for Parks. So one down for Parrish. He's got a base hit today. He grounds it to third. Boggs has it. And that's two down. So two down for Hancock, who has a double and, a, and an RBI. And he pops it up on the infield. And there's the third out. So we're going to keep uh, Wilcox in there. Um, hmm. No, we're not. We're not going to do that. He's got a high pitch count already, and we have all these lefties. So he's done his job as we bring in Shotzi. He pitched yesterday, one in the third innings, and uh, didn't allow a run. So he's going to face Mike Kingery, who's 0 for 3 against Shotzi. And he pops it up right at the home plate, and it is caught for the first out. So one down. Here's Tom Paquette. He's also a lefty. One for two against Shotzi. And he gets a second base hit. As uh, he gets past Trammell at short. So runner at first. Here's Burleson. He's the one righty. We're going to guard the lines. And perhaps try to get two here. As he pops it right into right center field. Right where, they <laughs> right where they're not. But he, uh, Hancock does make the catch. And there's two down. And Joe Morgan has struggled with shots later. 0 for 8 with two strikeouts. And he grounds it to Whitaker. And that is the third out. So good job by shots later. As we head to the top of the seventh. Danny Parks is still in there. And Parks has given up three total home runs to Fisk this year. Uh, to this game. So he's going for his third home run of the game. And he takes a walk. So Parks wants no part of Fisk. So runner at first, here's JT. JT grounds it to second. That should be two. Nope. Fisk beats it out at second base. And Thompson is out at first. So runner in scoring position. Here's Bob Baylor. We can sure use an RBI. Nope. He grounds it right back to Parks. And they all oh, they go to third to get Fisk. So that's two down. They get the lead runner. And we're going to try to steal second base with Bob Baylor. He does lead the team right now with stolen bases. He gets another one. So that is, I believe that's his 14th stolen base on the year. So uh, two outs, runner in scoring position, and a balk by Danny Parks. So 
Runner at third. And here's Sweet Lou. Oh, Lou swings at a, a pitch that was a foot outside. So he goes down swinging. And here we are in the bottom of the seventh. And we're going to let Schatzader pitch to Boggs. Boggs has owned him three for five this season. And Boggs grounds it to Trammell. Oh, and Trammell commits the third error by the Tigers today. Oh, well, we are trying to give away this winning streak, so uh, I feel bad for Schatzader, but we're going to bring in uh, Roger Weaver to face Jim Rice. Jim is 0 for 2 against Weaver. We're going to guard the lines, try to get two here on a ground ball. And there it is. There's a ground ball to Whitaker. And they can only get the runner at first, as Boggs is safe at second. So one down. And Gary Allenson, the cleanup hitter, is up. And he grounds it to third. Hebner gets him at first. Two down. And we're back to our row of lefties. So out goes Weaver. In comes Pat Underwood. And uh, I'm sorry, I haven't been showing the stats. I know some of you enjoy that. So uh, Pat Underwood is 1-1 one one with a 276 ERA. Uh, opponents are batting 268 against them overall. And more importantly, Carlton, uh, Carl Yastrzemski is 0-4. And Yastrzemski hits a fly ball to right. And it is caught for the third out. So Tigers defense have been, has been terrible in the last two games. As Trammell comes to the plate here in the top of the eighth, Danny Parks has had 119 pitches. And Trammell grounds it to second. That's one down. So here's Richie Hebner. And Hebner grounds to short. And there's two outs. Parks now tired at 121 pitches. I feel like he went 140 earlier in the season as Kemp walks. And uh, two down, Kemp at first for Parrish. And Parrish is going to get a base hit to center field. Do I want to send... No, I don't. We don't want the third out at third since he's right there. And there. Yeah, so it's no. And that's going to be it for Parks as you bring in Dennis Eckersley. And I misspoke yesterday. Dennis Eckersley is not the closer. He's actually the setup man. He was the closer and was removed from that role. And Skip Lockwood, who pitched yesterday, is the closer for Boston right now as they shuffled around their bullpen. So uh, here's Gary Hancock, runners at first and second to face Eck. He's 0 for 2 against the Hall of Famer. And Hancock grounds it to first, and that is the final out. So here we are in the bottom of the eighth. We're going to let Underwood go through these lefties. Oh, we're going to bring in um, third base. We're going to bring in Brookins for defensive purposes. There we are. Okay. So here's uh, Jim Dwyer. He's one for three against Underwood this year. And Dwyer's going to ground it to short. Oh my gosh, a second error by Trammell. And that's the fourth error for the Tigers today. Six and two, day, two games. This is rough. Okay. Uh, we really want to give this game away. So Mike Kingry comes to the plate. And, of course, Underwood walks in. So we're going to have to pull the outfield in against Paquette. Still nobody out, and Paquette goes down swinging. So we're going to take Underwood out, and we're going to bring in, oh boy, Dave Tobik to face Burleson, and then we're going to have to go to Cappy. Um, so here's Tobik's numbers. You know how I feel about him. Uh, we, we need him to do well, and you just never know what you're going to get, so... So uh, we're going to bring the outfield in once again with Burleson. And Burleson hits a lazy fly ball to left center field, and it is caught by Kemp, who was playing in, so that worked out well. 
So that is the second out, and now we're going to take out Tobik, and we're going to bring in Capizello. Here's Cappy's stats. 27 games, 171 ERA, opponents batting a paltry 214, and his splits, lefties are only batting 196. So we like our odds against Joe Morgan. Morgan has never faced Capizello. Two down. And Joe Morgan hits a high fly ball to center. It should be caught by Baylor, and it is, and that is the final out as we go to the top of the ninth. And here's Carlton Fisk. Here's his uh, final chance to get his third home run. Let's see if he can get the trifecta. No, he's going to get a blooper into right center field. Caught by the right fielder. And still a quality game from, uh, from Carlton today. So one down. Here's JT. And there's a line drive base hit to right field. So Thompson gets his first hit. He's one for four today. And that brings up Bob Baylor. We're going we're gonna to hit and run. Stay out of the double play with the slowest runner on our team. Bob Baylor makes good contact. As he does here, Thompson will advance to second. And Baylor is out. So runner in scoring position for Whitaker. Base hit should give us that bonus lead. Instead, Lou Whitaker hits a high fly ball to right. Oh man, for a second I thought it was gone, but it's caught by the right fielder Kingry, and we head to the bottom of the ninth. And so we need Capazello to get Boggs, and then we'll bring in Senior Smoke to close it out. So here's Wade Boggs against Capazello. He lines it to right, caught by Hancock. There's one down. So good job at Capazello. And here's Lopez in to close out the game. He's facing Jim Rice, who's one for three with a strikeout against Lopez. And he hits it right into the right center field gap. Will hang up? It does. Just long enough for it to be caught by Hancock. And so two down for Gary Allenson. And Allenson's going to get a base hit to left field. It never goes easy. And he stretches it into a double. Wow. Okay, so... That is the tying run at second. We're going to intentionally walk Yastrzemski, who's batting 329 versus righties. We don't have any lefties in the pen. And we're going to face uh, Jim Dwyer, who's batting 215 overall, and is struck out in his only appearance against Lopez. Um, wow, this is, this is stressful. Okay, so two outs, runners at first and second. And a ground ball to Trammell. He's already got two errors, and he gets this one cleanly. And that's the ball game. That's nine in a row, folks, as we win five to four. And let's take a look at the transactions real quick. Um, nothing new of note. So we're going to click on the box score. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. Doesn't get much better than nine-game winning streak. As uh, we take a look at the box score, there's Fisk and his two home runs, giving him 12. Wilcox gets the hard-earned win at 8-2 and two now, and Lopez closed the door for his 23rd save. Parks takes a loss. He's 7-10 and 10 now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give uh, the player of the game to Carlton Fisk. That's an easy one. You hit two home runs, you're going to get player of the game. So that's it here from Fenway Park. We come back for game three tomorrow. And until then, everyone, have a great night.